What's going on guys, it's Jay and we are back in the Venture Saw 14 studio for another tutorial. Today I'm gonna to try and teach you how to mark your audio using your keyboard. So let's go ahead and get started. Like usual, I shot this with a GH5 4.3 mode anamorphic 2.0, oh, two times stretch. And it was a firmware 1.0, so I don't have the 2.0 at this time. So first thing we're gonna do, highlight those two clips. We're gonna to go to attributes, I shot this 60 frames per second, so let's go ahead and bring it down to 24 frames per second, and then change this to cinema scope. Perfect. Bottom right gear, we're gonna change the timeline resolution to 3840 by 11443, which is 2.66 aspect ratio. If you want it just a 2.4 regular, then you can just change this to 1600, and that should be good to go. Now, I have an audio here that I got from soundimage.org. Eric Matias, he provides free music to YouTubers, to so pretty much everyone. He's pretty cool. He's awesome for providing us music. So I'm using that and I use it a lot in my channel. So let's go to edit page. We're gonna drag and drop both this uh, footage here, these footage down, and we're gonna drag the audio down as well. So what is this tutorial all about today? Well, I'm gonna rewind this a little bit. And if I press play, okay, I'm gonna mute the one audio track for the video because you can hear my baby. But let's go ahead and play it again. You can actually hear that beat, right? So what we're gonna try to do is, if you're making a montage, you want your cuts to be in line with the beat, right? So that's what we're doing today. If your computer is not fast enough for a full playback, as you can see here, if I play, press play, it's 20 fa 24 frames per second. That's my actual speed. If you can't play 24 frames per second or 25 or 30, then what you can do is just unhide or mute your video tracks and then just play your audio because right now you don't really need your video. So let's get started. Press play and what you're gonna do is along with the B, you're gonna press letter M for mic in your keyboard with the beat that you would like to follow. So let's try and do this, press play. Okay, you can do it that way, but you can also click the audio file Press rewind, let's go ahead and delete these markers here. You can do it in the main timeline and you can also do it in the actual audio file. If you have multiple audio files you're trying to follow for some reason, let's go ahead and do this again, press play. Okay, so awesome, what now? What the heck are those things for? Well, now that you marked it with your keyboard, you can now easily align your footage with those markers. So we're gonna unhide this. We're gonna go ahead and just pretend there's multiple clips and you see how it's snapping to those things here? So let's say if I want my first footage to be like this, I'm gonna press Alt, zoom in so I can grab these. So if I can go like this, I'm gonna align my second shot with this marker here and if we, if we press play, and similarly, if we add another one of this and add it to our next marker like that, see how it's snapping, really nice, press play. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Pretty awesome, pretty simple, quick tutorial.